Yes. Oh. Where, where are you? Luke, Luke 8, verse 10. Yes. And he said, to you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing they may not see, hearing they may not understand. Okay, can you repeat it properly? Because I didn't, I didn't understand what you were reading. Re repeat again. Okay. Luke 8, verse 10. And he said, To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Yes, that is mysterious. Jesus replied and said, yes, he said, the knowledge of the mysterious of the kingdom of God has been given unto you. Mysterious, mysterious knowledge of the, the knowledge of the mysterious of the kingdom of God has been given to you. That has been given to the disciples of Jesus, but, but to others, I speak in parable so that although they see, they may not see. Although hearing, they may not understand. So you see, people they can see, but they don't understand. People they can hear, but they cannot hear. They don't understand. They can hear, hear like now we preach the gospel, we, we speak the word. They can hear, yes, we are preaching, but they cannot understand. Can you unmute your phone, please? Press star six on your phone so that we don't hear what you are doing. Your, your phone has a star and a six. Press that. Then we don't hear what you are saying. Otherwise, I'm going to unmute everybody. I want, I want to talk to you. So that's why I don't want to admit you. So if you think you are doing something, we don't want to hear your stuff, please admit your phone. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible says, although seeing, they may not see. Although hearing, they may not understand. You can hear, but you cannot understand. That's why we need to intercede people so that they can understand salvation. The Bible says it is mysterious, but God has given the, to us. The, God has given us mysterious. God has given us, us the knowledge of mysterious of the kingdom of God. You know, it is, it is it, when you get saved, it's not for granted. Your salvation is not granted. It's just by the grace of God you have been saved. People outside there, they are suffering. They cannot stop. They are addicted with something. They can't stop. But when salvation comes to their life, they will be able to stop. They are terrible, terrible criminals. They could not stop what they were doing. But through the grace of God, they were saved and they stopped the criminal. There's some People who have been doing so bad, bad, bad stuff, but by the grace of God, through salvation, they have changed. Addiction cannot go unless you receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You see many people, they are in the church, they are, but they are not saved. That's why we pray that they will be saved and have this knowledge that we have. Salvation is not that you did anything big, 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 big that you were saved. It's just the grace of God that, uh, that you, are, you have been saved. You and me, we are saved. So that's why we need to pray for those people who have not been saved to be saved. Like my sister here, as she said that the husband ran away and left him, her with the children, with somebody, with another wife, another woman. And this woman is a really marine woman. It's a python. It's, it's not a human being. It's, it's just a spirit, that woman. Now, if this man is saved, he can't do that. Yeah. He can't do that. But we need, we need salvation. That's why the Holy Spirit asked me to go three days, pray and fasting for the souls. 
During this time, we'll finish Saturday. By Saturday, good news is coming. I'm sure this man is coming back home. That's what the Holy Spirit says. That is that, 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 that marine woman, she, she, will get, she will go to the wreck where she belongs. She will go there at the, the sea, <laughs> at the sea where she belongs. She's, she's not a human being. <laughs> the husband is living with the spirit, and he thinks that that is a woman. That is not a human being. <laughs> so I see her like she's not a human being. She's a spirit. She's living with the, with the marine mammon, something like that. It's not a human being. Yeah. Yes, so that spirit will go because my sister prepare you when the man will come, you, you, you will anoint yourself, anoint the house, so that, that spirit will not enter in. So it's coming, it's coming. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, that's why we need to pray for our beloved one, our husbands, our wives, our children, our, our sons, our, our daughters. I'm telling you, my son William, he's there. I see him. Yeah. He, I'm yeah. talking and they can hear and he, he, he can say amen. My son turned himself yeah. to be a big criminal, but God delivered him and he's now a pastor. Yeah. He's a pastor. Yeah? Amen. 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 William, say amen. amen so that people yeah. would say. You see, my, I have other sons, David, other, other yes. You can see, that's why he says he, he's a pastor now. It is because I prayed, I went 21 days prayer and fasting. And then God delivered him. He could not be alive today, William. William, if you did not save, you could not be alive today. So now, William is saved, he's a pastor, he, he, <laughs> he's a deliverance minister. And a prophet of God. So now... It's because of observation. If he did not get salvation, he could not be a, a, a minister right now. He could have died. They could have killed him. So that's why we, we need to pray for our children, our, our husband, our people, so that the enemy could, can, they, they don't kill them before they get salvation. And let's, let's look at the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3, verse 17 to 18. Yes, my son, William. <laughs> yes. Yes, that, that he has, you can feel it. You, you see, his, his reply is saying what I'm saying is true. He's now a deliverance minister. Very powerful young man. <laughs> yes. Can you read for us Ezekiel 3, verse 17 to 19? Yes. Yes, please. Dr. Chuma, I love you so much. Thank you, my sister. Love you too, Pastor. Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Yes. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore, hear a word from my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no, no warning, no speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, that same wicked man shall die iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Amen. Amen. You know, we have called uh, as a watchman to warn to warn the sinners. If they don't want to hear us, if we tell them salvation, they curse you, they, they think like you are nothing, but you have planned a seed of salvation. This, this seed you planted on them, it will come to, to, to manifest and they will give life to Jesus. But if they refuse, then they die. They will say, they will not have an excuse to say that nobody talked to them, nobody who said anything to them. They will die and their own iniquity will fall upon them. But when you pass the message, you, you tell them and they refuse, then you are free. We have been given salvation, you know that. At the workplace, where you go, share. Just plant a seed. Let them curse you, let them do whatever they want. Just plant a seed of salvation. Tell the people Jesus loves you. Jesus is there to deliver you. Jesus is God. God loves you. I am here. I love people. 
I was ministering another lady. She was crazy from England. And uh, I, know, I know how to handle them. There are mad people who call me here, really crazy people. Sometimes witchcraft, they call me, they, they tell me they are testing me. And I know who they are. So I know how to deal with the people, different people. Some, some are, they, they are prophets, they are pretending to, to want to hear from me. And, but I detected them. Some are false prophets and cults. They want to test me. But I, I will tell them the truth and I tell them, you know what? I, I, I am a servant of God. And God has sent me to, 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 to speak the word of God. And, and the word of God, it does not lie. It would go and it doesn't go back. It doesn't go to heaven without doing what, what God has promised to do. As you go and anywhere, people will come. Some, they will mock you. See people, they will mock you. They will say anything. But you have planned your seed. It will come to manifest in, in the future. Therefore, people of God, Look at that book of Ezekiel. The way it says that if you, if this person would die and he, ha, he has had the word, then you are you are set free. But if he, 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 you, you didn't tell him something, you didn't warn him, or you didn't tell him about salvation, it is it, you will be accountable. That's why Jesus is saying that you are the the keeper of your brothers. So we need to 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 be. To know that this salvation that we got, we don't have to put in our pocket. Let us share and pray, especially our beloved one, our own children, our own parents. We have to intercede and pray. God will answer for sure. Your parents will be saved. If they are alive and they are not saved, you know, if, if you can look at hell, if you can see the picture of hell, you cannot eat. You will cry and pray, pray until something will happen. That's why we, God is here to help us. Amen. Sister, read the book of Proverbs 11, verse 30. Proverbs 11, 30. Yes. Yeah. Proverbs 11, 30. Yes. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. You see, the fruits of the, the righteous is a tree of life. He, he that wins the soul is wise. So anybody who wins a soul, who wins the souls, who wins anybody to Christ is wise. It's not a fool. So anytime, if you want to know that you are, you, are, you are a fool or you are a wise, win somebody. If you win somebody to Christ, then you are wise than all the wisest people in the world. You are more than that. That's what the Bible calls you. Go to the street, go to the village, go out in the marketplace, talk to somebody. They may look at you and say, oh, you, you maybe you have nothing, you are looking for somebody. I was talking with a lady. She said, I know you have, you have opened the church, now you are looking for members. I said, yes, but I don't have a church. I don't have a church, by the way. I really want to, you to be saved, and I see you have a problem. You need Jesus. She said, no, you also need Jesus. I said, I have Jesus. And then I, I told her, you need prayer. She said, everybody needs prayer. I said, fine, let us pray to each other then. You pray for me. And then she said, she, she doesn't know, know how to pray. Now I said, what are with me? I know how to pray. Can I pray for you? Sure. <laughs> so that's how it is. Yeah. First of all, she was like, she, she, she knows what she's doing. Eventually, when I started talking to her, she continued talking. Then eventually she asked me prayer. And I gave her my card, and then she followed me. She followed, she followed me to the church, to a prayer meeting, and she calls me. So that's how it is. If you can't, if you, can, if you are shy, and you can't talk, give them our cards, give them the number. Give them, say, call this number, you can get help. Just that two words, you have planted a seed. The book, the, um, the book of John 3, 5 says, Jesus said, fairly, fairly, I said unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So you see, Jesus himself declared, said, nobody will enter the kingdom of God unless he's born of water and the spirit. He cannot unless he's born again. So he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. He cannot. You see, it is a serious thing. So you don't need your parents, your family, not to enter the kingdom of God. And we are here that we know 
the kingdom of God is the, is where eternity is, is where you, are, you you will spend your life. You don't need to go to hell. You don't need to see your family going to hell. You are loved child, you are your mother, you are your husband. Because it, but salvation is individual. You are not carrying anybody. That's why Jesus said, unless, unless, and I said, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You can't, you, 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 you cannot want, you, you don't have to wait until somebody is died, until somebody is dead, until some, something has happened to the person. You have to pray and intercede. You, we need to intercede. We need to sacrifice so that these people can be saved. If you are committing this saved, you can reduce criminal uh, crime through salvation. People who are addicted, who cannot uh, do sleep without drugs, through salvation, they can stop. I know many people who are addicted with drugs. They can't sleep. They can't, they can't function without drugs. Now they got saved and they stopped. They are, they are, they are normal and they are doing good. Because that is a demon. Drugs is a demon. Addiction is a demon. Yeah? So it's only us. Who has, you know the Bible says, they have, they have eyes, they, they, they see but they, 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 they see but they don't, they don't understand. They hear but they don't understand. But with us we do understand. Therefore we pray and intercede for them. John, John 12, the John 12 verse 40, the Bible says, he has bind, he has, he has, he has blinded their eyes and hidden their hearts so that they cannot see what they, their eyes and understand what their hearts and turn and I would heal them. You know, the world, the enemy has blinded them. They cannot see anything. They have hardened their hearts. It is has to break that. It has to pray. People who are sick, they are in the problem, but they don't want to be prayer. They don't want Jesus. And this is simple prayer will set them free. And they get saved and they will be set free. But because the, 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 the gods of this world has blinded them, they cannot hear, they can't, they can't see, they, they better die with their problem. But when we intercede, we pray for them, God will help them and heal them. In Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that, I pray that, Father, according to the Bible, according to the book of 1 Timothy 2, verse 1, says that I am not, I am, I am to offer petitions, prayers, intercessors, and thanksgivings on behalf of all men. Father, I come to you in faith, believing your word in the name of Jesus. Second Peter 3, verse 9, that says, you are not desiring that any should perish, but that all should turn to repentance. So I bring before you this day the rest of the world, every man and woman and children from all over the world. Father, I recall and put unto remembrance. Your word says in the book of Luke 15 verse 11 to 24, and I call, I call those things that be not as although they were ready manifest according to Romans 4 verse 17. And I call forth every non believer every non believer, every sinner to come home to your loving arms, Father God, in the name of Jesus. You said in the book of John 6, verse 44, that no one can come to you unless the Father who sent you. Throw them, and you, sh you said in John 12, verse 32, that if you are lifted up from the earth, you will throw all peoples to yourself. You see, the Bible is saying here very clearly, at John 6, verse 44, Jesus said that no one can come to you unless the Father who sent you throw them. And you said, in, and, and the scripture says in John 12, verse 32, that if you are lifted up from the earth, you will throw all the peoples to yourself. You have to come. To come seek and save those who have stayed and are lost according to Luke, 10, Luke, Luke 19 verse 10. Now Jesus himself is the one to throw those people to, the, to God. 
is the one we, we that's we are vessels. When we go there, the already Jesus knows who is going to get saved. So he's the one to throw them and connect them. He's the one who can connect them to reach for you to reach them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God, in the name of Jesus, the book of Ezekiel 34, verse 16. Jesus, you also said in the in the, in the, in the book of, of, of John 6, verse 37, that all whom the Father gives and entrust to you will come to you. And the ones who comes to you, you will you will mostly certainly not cast out and you will never, never, never reject anyone who comes to you. May that truth of your love be so really to them that they come back to you and may they see the way they, they, they were like the rusty sun. So his father in that you are watching and ready and waiting for their return. May the, may the experience, the, the, the breath, the rent, the deep and the, the height of the love of Christ towards them, according to Ephesians 3.19. And just as the father who watching for the, the, the rost son to come home, so you too are watching and waiting for these people to come, the rost ones to return to you, Father. Father, I pray that those who are rost, those who do not know you, God, I pray right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, this man, this man who has left his, his wife and the children, God, that he may be he may be touched tonight, wherever he is, God, my Father. He may know you that, God, you love him. He will come home, God, my Father. I pray that these children who have lost, who are walking in the streets, who do not know you, God, may you touch them, God, my Father. May you bring them according to your word, God, that they will know you, Lord, my Father. May you draw them, God, according to your word, my Father. We pray by the scripture. We quote the scripture, what God is saying. That's why I'm praying by scriptures, because the, he, he has said, he's the one who has said so. So these children, young people, they, they are lost. The enemy is using them. And they are destroying them. The, the enemy is destroying them. Father, I pray according to your word, God. Father God, according to your word, God, Hebrews 6, verse 18 to 19, that gives us a hope that, that, that the hackers of souls. Thank you, Father, that according to Ephesians 6, Ephesians 2, 4 to 6, you are rich in mercy because of your great love, which, which, with which you love them, even when those people are dead in sins and trespass, you have made them alive together with Christ by grace that they have been saved. And he has raised them up together and made them to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Father, I ask according to your word, according to the word of God. We pray according to the word. I wish to pass this information to everybody so that you can claim your beloved one quoting this scripture. You, you have to quote the scripture over your beloved one, over your family. Ezekiel 36 verse 26 to 27 to put a new heart and a new spirit with them and take away the, the stone heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh so that every heart stone in the heart god will remove it and put a new heart in their heart my father i pray that god every family this family who are not saved, not everyone who, are, who the whole family has been saved. We have few people who have not been saved. Even myself as a prophet, I have my brother who, who is not saved. So I pray for him. Yeah, I pray for him. But an, another brother told him that he visited the church, is deciding to, to be saved. So I pray during this time that my brother Joseph will be saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, so all the family, not everyone who is saved, you can, be, you, they, they, some family, they are, all of them, they are saved, but you find one is not, uncle is not saved, aunt is not saved, grandma is not saved, so we pray for them to be saved. In the village where you are, there are so much criminal. so we pray that the, the, the community to be saved, those criminals, God loves them, they are the one God would save them, so we pray for them. According to this Ezekiel 37, verse 27, 
as, uh, the Bible says, God will put a new heart and a new spirit within them and take away the stone heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. I pray that God put, it, put your spirit within them and cause them to walk in your studies so they shall keep your judgments and do them. Father, I lose them forth. Angels right now to send people continually unto the lives of those who are parents that they share the gospel with them. Lord, let your angels right now call this message to their lives, to their homes. Lord, my Father, to visit them. According to the, to the, to the book of Romans 10, verse 14, I ask that you send forth from the north, the south, the east, and the west, the perfect rab, rab, uh, uh, rabbis to share the gospel, the good, the good news to the gospel, according to Matthew 9, verse 37 to 38. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would convince them that they are lost, separated from God, and headed to, to, to hell. You see, the Holy Spirit will, will separate them. Let the Holy Spirit separate them from, from the world in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. Amen. Romans 3, 23 said, Father, may they had be open so that they will receive Amen. and believe the gospel. My God, I pray Amen. that they will receive the gospel in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Acts 16, verse 14, Amen. I pray that they receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you and let the eyes of their understanding be enlightened yeah, like. so that they will understand the gospel when it is presented to them so that the devil cannot snatch it away. The, the, the devil cannot snatch away the salvation. I pray that Amen. according to Matthew 13, 5, 9, and they will understand that their only hope for forgiveness and accepted with you is through Jesus' work on the cross. Jesus walked on the cross. My God, Jesus paid everything in the cross so that they can be saved, my God. I pray that God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray tonight that God Almighty, midnight this time, God, my Father, my God, wherever time it is in your country, where you are in Africa right now, it is in the morning. I pray according to the book of 1 Corinthians 1, 18, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that the word of God will take root in their lives and bring about true salvation. I pray for that they can bring, the, the word of God can bring true salvation to their lives, to those people who have not been saved. According to Matthew 13, 6, 20 and 21, Father, I pray that the pressure of their, this world and the pressures of life will not choke the word of God that has been sown into their lives. Lord, I pray that let the world, let the world, let the press of this world, the people who have been saved, let them, th that saved be remain them, not to be backslide, not to go back to the world, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, I pray that God in the name of Jesus, bring people, let the people to be saved, thousands and thousands who have not been saved, Lord, I pray that let angels Go to their village, to houses, to the streets, Lord, to bring this good news to them, God. My God, my Father, I thank you tonight. I give you all the glory, God. I give you honor, my God. There are so much to go, but God, I want to stop here and say thank you, Father, that tonight you will meet your people. Tonight you will meet people. Our family has not been saved. We pray that God, my Father, I am appearing to the, the, the them according to the, the, the word, according to your word, God. You have said that, God, we are a watchman. We are interceder, intercessors. We pray that, God, we, we, have, we have done what you have asked me, what you have asked us to do. Now, Father, do your work. Bring them. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. I want to give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 I want to pray for the sick people. If you are sick, the Holy Spirit has asked me that there are some people who are sick. Therefore, I want to pray for them. And Amen. it will be done. Because the angels Amen. is here, the Holy Spirit is here, the power of God is moving. Therefore, I pray for Amen. anyone who is sick. 
Yes. I am praying for you right now by the power and the blood of Jesus. That, that the back. You have, you have a very bad back. I don't know you got an accident or you injured yourself. The, that back, that the back has been bothering you. It has been giving you so much problem. I am rebuking. I'm rebuking that demon in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of that that back. The back. Get out in the name of Jesus. I curse you. I command you to get out in the name of Jesus. I curse that demon. Get out in the name of Jesus. The demon in the joints, in the in the nails. Get out of those nails right now. In the name of Jesus, I cast them. I blood pressure, I cast you in the name of Jesus. I command you to get out of these people in the name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for anybody with the high blood pressure. Get out of the person right now in Jesus' name. I pray for Sister Rindy in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit the, the woman of God into your hand. I pray that God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray protection of our life and our, and our, our family, Amen. God, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, Amen. I thank you. I pray for everyone. Those people are looking for jobs. I am praying for Amen. them. I am praying that Amen. God will open up and bless them in Amen. Jesus' name. I pray for the, the whole world, wherever is looking for the job. The job is coming. I know it's coming, Amen. and you will get the job soon. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, the enemy that has been Amen. tying you down, that does not want you to work, that it has taken you, your job, your position, someone else, I command that job to locate you now and, you, and come to Amen. your hands right now in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you are doing to thank these people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I pray for the, the, the person who has a, a, a patient in a hospital. In fact, yeah, yeah, that, that, that boy, the Holy Spirit is giving me back to pray for the boy. The boy was to die, but I prayed and God stopped it. And God gave, gave, a, gave him life back. I pray that for that young man who is been in hospital, I, I pray that he will not die, but live to declare the word of God. I declare that he shall not die, but live to declare the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty King of glory, those one who are suffering with different cases of sickness, Lord, I commit them to you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for financial miracles. Those who are looking for financial miracles, I am praying for you right now. The man is there, is coming. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, my Father, receive that money. Receive that money, your check that has been hold, the enemy that has been holding your check, the, your money, your benefits, this money has come now. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, that money that the enemy has been holding for many years, for so long, it has been released in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood of Jesus, God has, 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 has blessed me so that I can bless you. I know the enemy is a liar, and I'm attacking that demon that is attacking your finances. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, get out of these people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your business. I pray that your business will grow. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will get new clients. You will get new customers. You, your business is going to grow in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you, God. I want to pray that God, no one will be will poor. Poor, I curse you in Jesus' name. Because poor is a curse. Therefore, I stand against you and I curse you. Because you are a curse, I curse you. Get out from the people in Jesus' name. Nobody will lack it. If you are following me, if you are following our ministry, if we are following us, you will never lack it. You will never lack it. It will be like the early churches. The early churches never lack it. They never lack, they never borrow. You will be the head. And you will render, you will, you will not borrow, you will be lender, you will help many people in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, we glorify your name. We acknowledge you, God. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we come before you. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory. I know many, they said, demon, that is broken people, but it's, it, they are doing zero work. The video is coming up, and the, this video is going to, to bless many, many, many people. Father, I thank you. I know the enemy is so jealous that you can't break the work of God. The work of God will go. Even if you do what, the work of God will continue. Jealousy and envious pastors, uh, uh, fetish, witchcraft, and all other evil people who are jealous against our ministry, Lord, my Father will bring them to you. We pray that, we pray that wherever, because there's a lot of people who need salvation. If the enemy wants to block people, wants to stop the work of God, and then the kingdom of darkness will grow. The kingdom of darkness will lose, and the heaven will win in Jesus' name. There are a lot of sinners who need Jesus. And now the, 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 other, the, the witchcraft and the evil, they are very jealous, including pastors. Pastors are at risk. They fear. They fear this ministry. So anybody who is at risk, my God, I commit them to you. You, you did with them, God. You are a good revenge. You are going to revenge. We cannot revenge ourselves. So we commit those wicked and evil people into your hand, God. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we commit to overcome us. Let us pray for this ministry. Pray for the ministry. Let us pray. Open your mouth and pray. Everyone. Yes, Lord, my Father. Wake up. Wake up. Pray for the ministry. Pray for overcomers, deliverance, and healing ministry. Pray for me. Pray for everyone. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, my Father. I commit this ministry to you, Lord. I pray for overcomers, deliverance, and healing ministry. Any witchcraft, any power that, they, that wants to destroy this ministry, let them destroy themselves. Any power that wants to, wants to destroy me, let them destroy themselves. Any spells and chants. Everyone that is, anyone who is spells on us, let them destroy themselves in Jesus' name. Father, we destroy every witchcraft. Wherever they are planning, wherever they are saying against us, let the witchcraft go back and destroy themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. We give all the glory. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father. Yes, my God. We love you. We give all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every very witchcraft against our ministry. Let them destroy themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. I am standing against wicked and evil people, against our ministry, against overcomers, deliverance and healing ministry. Let them be destroyed themselves in the name of Jesus. Let them be removed from this earth because they are the enemy of God. They are the enemies of God. Therefore, I'm standing against the enemies of God. Let the God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Let the God of, let the God of Elijah trouble, trouble the troubles of our Overcomers. Every troubles of overcomers, let the God of our light trouble them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. We bless your name. We give all the glory, God. Loving Father, we magnify your name. We bless you. Father, we, we love you so much. We give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you. God bless you. I have to stop here. And we are meeting tomorrow, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Tomorrow we'll meet 8 a.m. And then we'll meet 12, uh, 12 midnight and 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock we have uh, our deliverance prayer. So if you are living around here and you want to come for prayer, for deliverance, you are welcome. But it's on 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 a, a, a Canada Day. It will be uh, uh, Friday first, first first Friday. That will be uh, July. July is a very important month, so that we are want to do high on feet deliverance. So high on feet is very very powerful prayer that will give you the next of the the other months to, until the end of the year. So you need to come if you can come. But if you don't come, prayer line will be there, but the periscope will not be there. So you must buy the card for you to pen it. I will instruct you what you do. Because the Bible says, you send the word, and the word heals them. Jesus told the Senjori, the Senjori told Jesus, you don't need to come to my roof. Send your word. So we will send the word right there, and then it will come to your home. 
So be ready. Okay. If you don't have the wrong distance, buy a card. Where anywhere in the world there's cards now. So you, you, you yeah. join us. The, the only problem that you can not join the party, you can't eat turkey, you can't eat chicken. That's the only difference. But otherwise, everything will share. <laughs> then we have the whole communion. You can eat there in your house. So we'll do things together. And the only thing that we will not be in one table to eat together, but we will do everything in the spirit. So please Amen. make sure next Friday, 1st of July, you are ready. We will start our prayer meeting 7.30. The prayer meeting will start 7.30 because we will finish 9 o'clock. Then we have time to celebrate Amen. and enjoy. 9 o'clock, we have Amen. done the meeting. Now, then from there, we will we'll see what will happen next. So please... Prepare Amen. yourself. And fasting, you come uh, fasting. You don't hit on that those three days, th Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we'll open when we eat our dinner. Thank you very much. Amen. God bless you. And enjoy your night. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.broadspot.ca And... There's videos, if, uh, if God can touch you, if this ministry is blessing you, go and donate an amount. A man okay. wanted to donate from, from Jamaica. Uh, he said, I, I don't know, $20 uh, can, USA. So I, the Holy Spirit told me to tell the man that no, God does not need your money, so keep it. What is the purpose to donate $20, $20 from Jamaica? So I told, I told the person, God bless you. You have, you have sold yourself, and God bless you so much. We will, we will pray. We will pray for you. So if you are touched to go and donate an amount, you are welcome. So God bless you so much. See you uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, I will not put on a prayer line. Prayer line will not be on, on uh, tomorrow morning. Because some people they come late and this they, they, they say a lot of noise coming when there's no people in a, in, a, in a prayer line. So I will not put on prayer line. You go to Periscope. You will see me from there. Thank you very much. God bless you. If you want to know our number, we have the number that you can call us. 905-487-7196. 905 905-78- 7196. It is there in the screen. You can stop and copy it. If you don't, if you don't still you can't get it, is 905 705-905-905-907-7196. We have a cell phone for WhatsApp, Skype. You can reach me by this number, 647-608-5207. 647-608-5207. You can get me through WhatsApp or uh, Skype. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have, have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Bye bye. bye. See bye. you tomorrow. Oh, bless you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Will. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, I love you. There's nothing I can do about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. Bye bye, Bereskop. Bye bye, Prayerine. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>